already determined the area of this rectangle with the dimensions given as mixed numbers. Because the dimensions are given in meters, the area would be the number of square meters that would fit inside this rectangle modeled by this shaded region. The formula to determine the area of a rectangle is length times width. It doesn't matter which of these we call the length and which we call the width. Let's go ahead and call this the length and we'll call this the width. So the area will be the product of 3 and 3 fourths meters and 12 and 2 fifths meters. And I'm going to go ahead and leave the units off while we determine this product. In order to determine the product of two mixed numbers, we have to rewrite them as improper fractions. So for 3 and 3 fourths, we'll have 4 times 3 plus 3, that's going to be 15 fourths. And then for 12 and 2 fifths, we'll have 5 times 12, that's 60, plus 2, 62 fifths. Now before we multiply, we should try to simplify, and since 15 and 5 have a common factor of 5, I'll rewrite 15 as 3 times 5. And since 4 and 62 have a common factor of 2, I'll rewrite 4 as 2 times 2. I'll rewrite 62 as 2 times 31. And this makes it very easy to identify the common factors. 5 over 5 simplifies to 1, and 2 over 2 simplifies to 1. So the area is going to be equal to 3 times 31. That's going to be 93 all over a denominator of 2. Let's go ahead and rewrite this as a mixed number and then include the units of meters squared. So we'll divide 93 by 2 to determine the mixed number. There are 4 twos in 9. 4 times 2 is 8. Subtract. Bring down the 3. There are 6 twos in 13. 6 times 2 is 12. We have a remainder of 1. So our area is 46 and one-half square meters, which again is the number of square meters that would fit inside this shaded region.